In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can build the best gun tight offense in Madden 23, kind of doing an, a year in review series. Gun tight has been one of the primary metas that we've seen emerge um, in Madden 23 over the course of the season. And so I wanted to talk about some conceptual things that you can take into Madden 24 out of this uh, gun tight offense. Now, I'm in the Detroit Lions playbook. If you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, that is going to be in our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member, and I'll get you access to not only just the gun tight ebook, but also get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the content we're going to be dropping to prepare uh, for Madden 24. So if you're not a member yet, you can sign up uh, by clicking the link in the description. Today, we're going to be taking a look at bench. And this is one of those plays um, that really kind of summarizes uh, the Madden 23 meta, I think, in a, in a lot of ways. Um, it's one of the been one of the best plays all season long. I'm going to talk about why in this video. And there's also a couple different ways to run it. So the, the primary thing with bench here is you have these corner routes and you have these out routes. Now, for the most part, we have played uh, pretty much exclusively this year a man coverage meta. Um, it's a send five man coverage meta. Some people are running some zone. Um, if you're running zone, though, typically it's a lot of adjustments and you're probably cross manning uh, your safeties or things like that. So by and large, it's been this kind of man coverage meta. So um, this play bench really attacks that well. Now, all you got to do is put the running back on an angle route, um, or you can put him on a streak and then just motion him across. And what you'll see is he'll come basically become a straight up streak. Now, your reads here is you're looking at these out routes really quickly. As you can see, if they don't have short route knockout and they're not pressing you, this is actually a pretty solid little route um, that can get some separation. Now, uh, if they if they do press you, let's say they press you, another thing you can do is you can just block your running back. Watch the tight end, though. This tight end corner route you're going to see right here is going to pretty consistently be able to attack man coverage. Now, what a lot of people have started to do is they've put inside shade on their safeties um, or something like that. Maybe they shade outside, different types of techniques to try to defend these corner routes. But by and large, the corner route's been the most consistent man beater pretty much all season long. OK, so what you can also do is right on the cut, you can high point it and you can basically ag it. And this is how it's kind of mixed in, not just uh, route abilities, not just routes that beat man, but also routes that you can click on and go user catch that are pretty good uh, against man coverage as well. Now, as they start to have to kind of drop back different zones and and do different things to stop this, this corner run on the left side, you'll see right here, one of the better man beating routes in the game. Now, another quick tip with running bench or plays like bench that I really like here is if you take a look at this, if you take a look at the, the left side, and I want you to watch the, the nickel corner, okay? So we're just going to motion Cromartie in. You'll notice that that nickel corner is going to move. It's going to create kind of a misalignment, and that's going to allow me to throw my corner out even better. So motion snapping has also been a big key this year uh, for you know utilizing a concept like bench. Now, as I said in the beginning, bench is an extremely versatile concept, and there's a lot of ways to run it. Let me give you another way real quick here. So one of my kind of, I think, more underrated ways to run bench is we're going to run it kind of like a flood concept. Now, this is I'm going to talk about this again zone in just a second, but just for right now, check this out against man. So if we motion the slant out, notice that that nickel corner is going to move, and then that, that motion slant also is able to beat man for you over the middle of the field, okay? So you have a route that's not only able to, it's, it's able to beat man, it's also able to beat zone. Now, this is another little quick tip here for Madden. And I see this being very much so how Madden 24 is gonna play zone coverage wise. Um, I don't think you're gonna see a lot of change in terms of just the way the deep blue zones are gonna play. So if I put, um, if I'm running bench here, what's also really cool about gun tight is it has a corner routes to both sides. And so if I run this streak, I want to show you how cover three defends this. So I've got, I'm running the same basic concept on both sides here, just corner routes with streaks. And um, what you're going to notice is this left side corner is going to get open, but the right side corner is not. And this has to do with the way zones are coded in Madden based off of the grid system. So as you see right here, the ball is on the left side hash mark which means the left side of the field is not also known as the short side of the field. And so if you look at this real quick, this outside third defender, is ba it's based off of a grid system. And essentially, the outside third is going to defend anything deep 
from the numbers to the out of bounds line. And so what you're gonna notice is this third, because this streak is running basically at the numbers, maybe just a slightly inside the numbers, um, that third gets pulled by that streak. And then what you see here is now I'm able to throw this corner route right on this uh, on the sideline. This is not true over here. So if you take a look at this, now that streak is on the hash mark. And so the third is no, he's no longer in the grid of that outside third defender. So what you'll see here is this streak is gonna run, but the middle third defender is basically defending him. And then the outside third defender is able to defend that corner route to that sideline. So when you wanna flood generally, especially if you're playing someone that's running a lot of cover three or cover four, the same is true of both zones. Um, so here's cover four real quick. If you look to the left side, by throwing this to the short side of the field, then you're able to throw that. Now, the baseline press cover four drop is slightly, I think, better uh, for defending a concept like this. And it also has to do a little bit with, like if we did a route combo like this, you'll see here that now that outside quarter will go and I'll be able to throw that corner out. So um, you want to throw this with your, whatever side you want to flood, you generally want that to be to the short side of the field. So to take this all the way home here, if we wanted to have a five out flood play that also gives us some capabilities against man coverage, one of the best things you can do is this gun tight bench play. You're gonna streak the right side receiver. You can put the running back on an out route or a table route, that's kind of up to you. And then I like this motion slant combined with this corner route because that corner route we know is gonna be very consistent for us at attacking man coverage. So if we do get a man coverage read on that wide side of the field, then what this does is it forces them now, they have to put a third defender over there, which is going to be basically limit what they can do in terms of over the middle of the field coverage. So they have to have help for that corner route, especially if they wanna run man. So then when you have this snapback slant, that snapback slant is one of the best man beaters in the game. So this is how you can use the bench concept to really do a lot of damage against man and zone. The last little piece of this is talking about the original bench play against zone coverage because there's no clear out streak. Um, because there's no clear out streak, what you wanna do is you can still cut these off and ag them. I do wanna point that out. You can still highball them right on the cut and basically try to ag them. Um, but another thing that you have with this is typically what this angle route is gonna do is it's gonna keep them the user in the middle of the field and you can throw this before he gets to the outside corners and basically throw it in the little pocket between the hash mark and the numbers on either side. Um, it's probably a little bit better, honestly, to the wide side. And if you wanted to even do something like this where you put two flat routes out here, now they're gonna pull those flat zones even better. And again, you wanna be agging. If they have mid zone KO, it's a little challenging. Um, but as you can see, pretty solid concept all in all. So that's how you run bench out of tight or a couple different variations of bench. I believe that tight's been one of the better offenses in the game this year. So learning some of these concepts and principles that we can build upon for Madden 24, I think is really critical. If you wanna get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, or if you just wanna become better at Madden in general, join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and it gets you access to literally everything in the Patreon. All of the ebooks, we've got over 25 offensive and defensive ebooks in Madden 23 and all the stuff that we're doing off season um, to prepare for Madden 24. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and go click the link down below.